Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this foldable keyboard made by Jellycomb. Now this is a $34 foldable keyboard that you can find on Amazon. Links will be in the description below. And this seems to be a really cool, really good foldable keyboard. Now they make a little uh, lower end, if you wanna say that, version of this, it's $30. In this case, obviously this one here is 34. It's a little higher end, but the $30 one, I believe it's only Bluetooth, but this one you could have both Bluetooth and a wired connection and there's also a few little other differences but in this case i'm just going to be reviewing the uh higher end version so let's go ahead and begin with showing you around the box so you see here nice little picture of what the keyboard looks like and i've got to say this box is very small so i assume that the keyboard obviously folded up is a little bit smaller than this box so pretty small so far jelly comb here your brand name Nothing on the side, same thing on this side as this side. And then on the back here, we have a label. If you wanna look at that, there you go. And then a picture of what it looks like unfolded and then folded. So uh, let's go and get into this. So it came this way. I didn't cut anything and pull it out. So that's how it came. Anyways, let's go and take it out. And here it is. <laughs> okay, feels pretty decent so far very small wow let's go and unfold it <laughs> look at that oh that's cool that is really cool check that out and then here's the little uh, trackpad you can see it does click very cool and then on the top here we have an off and on button and then i believe this is bluetooth pairing button and then a charge port or a wired connection port to like a, um, a desktop PC or something like that. Very cool. Let's go and see what else is included. A uh, user's manual here. And what's this? Oh, it's uh, if you're happy or not happy or something like that. Warranty and, uh, about jelly comb, stuff like that. So there you go, there's that. Let's go and see what else. We have a charging cord. And that's it for the box. So pretty long cord, looks like it at least. And then you can also, again, use this for a wired connection to like a laptop or something like that. So very cool so far. Um, I'm gonna go in and set this up with an iPad. Of course, this will work on a uh, computer and stuff. It should at least, I guess I could test that later on. Anyways, I'm gonna set this up with an iPad and go ahead and test it out. All right, so in front of me, I have my iPad here. Um, this is an iPad mini second gen. Um, and the keyboard is hooked up to the iPad here through Bluetooth. Obviously, it's not a wired connection right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and test this thing out. And sure enough, it's working. You can see there exactly what I typed on the keyboard is exactly what came up on the iPad. I'm gonna click delete here. Sure enough, check that out, it is working. Subscribe. Anyways, you can see it's definitely working perfectly fine. The only complaint uh, that I have, if you can even call it a complaint, is that the T and the V buttons are a little small. Obviously that's because of this crease here um, and they're a little hard to type on. I'm normally used to a, you know, a normal size keyboard, but this one's obviously pretty small, so. I think if you use this for like a week or something, you would definitely get used to it. But just in the few minutes that I've used it so far, I'm not too used to it. You can see there. Yeah, if you actually pay attention to like what you're typing and where your fingers are um, when you're using the V and the T buttons, you would actually probably type um, that perfectly fine. So it's definitely working. Um, space bar, you can see it's working. Everything works clearly. Caps lock, you can see it turns on the little light here for the caps lock. So yeah, it's working. Um, I guess what I'll go in and do now is hook up a computer to this and I'll number one, test out the wire connection. And also I'll test out this little trackpad thing here and see how that works. Obviously I can't try that on an iPad because an iPad doesn't have a cursor, so that won't work. So if you're using this on like a phone, 
obviously you're not going to be able to use the trackpad to use on your touch screen um, so i'll go and plug this up to a computer laptop in this case a macbook actually and i'll go in and test it out all right so as you can tell it is connected to my computer macbook air in this case through uh, the wired connection i'm going to actually test this out on my macbook through the bluetooth connection too and see how that works anyways you can see it's connected through the wire here you have to turn it on for it to work let's go and test out against the trackpad function first so there it is and look at that it is working <laughs> that's pretty cool there you go i'm gonna go and right click working let's go in and see if it uh senses finger gestures or whatever however you say it yeah sure enough it does you can see i'm gonna get my two fingers here tap it and it senses it so that does work very cool um and then here i have the console open on my macbook and i'm going to test out the keyboard function let's go and drag it down here let's go and test it out Sure enough, that is working just fine. Very cool. So obviously it does work uh, through the wired connection. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pair this up through the Bluetooth connection and see how that works. All right, so I have the computer here and I also have the keyboard obviously connected through Bluetooth to my MacBook. Let's go ahead and see first if the trackpad function uh, works. That's what I'm very interested in. And yep, sure enough, look at that gestures and stuff yep it works check that out very cool i'm gonna go in and type see how that works check that out it's working perfectly fine so you could either on a computer use it through bluetooth or a wired connection in this case if your computer has bluetooth just use bluetooth it's much it's much simpler um, you don't have to have a wire in your way, stuff like that. But if you have an older computer that doesn't have Bluetooth, such as my gaming computer, it for some reason doesn't have Bluetooth. So I would, if I was going to use this with my gaming computer, I would have to use the uh, cord here. So there you go. Very cool so far. I'm really liking this keyboard. And uh, I guess there's really not much more to say about it. So let's go ahead and give you guys my final opinions. All right, so overall, what do I think of this foldable keyboard? I think this thing is actually really cool for the price. Uh, I've never actually in my life even seen or tested out a folding keyboard. And this one seems to be very good for the price. $34, really like how compact it is. You just fold it up, stick it in your book bag or wherever you're going. It's very nice. I really like that. You can also use a wire connection to a computer in case your computer, laptop, whatever, doesn't have Bluetooth. I really like that. Um, so it'll work on pretty much any computer. I would also presume that it works on Windows. I don't know why it wouldn't. It really just acts as a normal keyboard. Your computer doesn't know the difference if it's a foldable one or whatever. It should work on Windows. In fact, I believe it does. So there you go, very cool little keyboard. I really recommend this thing if you're looking for, well, a foldable keyboard. Really like that also has this little uh, trackpad built in. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know why you would really use it over your uh, normal trackpad. Maybe if you actually have a mouse, um, like on a desktop computer and you don't wanna use a mouse, you would want to use a trackpad maybe you could use this and it does work it definitely works perfectly fine in my case at least so very cool i really like that this is built in and i really like this thing overall build quality seems to be pretty good pretty decently solid um it's not made of metal or anything actually the hinges are so that's pretty good but you can see here there's a little bit of play i wouldn't push the limits with this thing i would keep care of it because i'd be afraid of it snapping in half um, kind of like a foldable phone, you know, it's not a very good idea. It could very well snap in half um, So definitely if you're gonna get one of these keep care of it at least or else you might break it within the first few months At one of the hinges. That's again what I'd be primi Primarily scared of anyways, if you're looking for a good foldable keyboard Go ahead and pick up one of these definitely recommend it seems very good for the price so uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.